Now we move to a completely different chapter. Uh, now we, the, the person has died, now we have to wash his body, shroud his body and, you know, prepare for his burial. So in this country, in many countries, we have a lot of legal uh, issues that, uh, to take care of. It's not that easy to die here, actually. There are a lot of stuff that we need to be aware of. And one of the things that we should be aware of is that uh, in Islam, the, the autopsy or, autopsy or this, this post-mortem thing that is, that is not allowed, it should be avoided unless there is like an enforcement, unless there's like a, 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 it's enforced by law, a government wants it. It should, uh, you know, that's, that's an exception. But otherwise, if you have an option, you should go for not going for autopsy. We will talk later on about uh, organ donation and everything later on. It's coming in the next chapter. But even the issues like embalmment, which is about treating the body with chemicals in order to preserve it, many people do it here. In many countries, this should be avoided as well. Unless, again, it is enforced by law, that's an exception. And, and there's a lot of paperwork involved as well. And uh, you know, basically, if we want to get the body released for uh, washing and burial, we need to have those papers signed. And by, uh, it's required by the funeral home. And uh, without signing that legal documents and also the paying fees for that, we, we cannot get this burial permit and death certificate. And again, death certificate is required. Without this, you cannot distribute the inheritance money of the deceased person. And then expenses. It's very expensive in this country to die, by the way. And some people also have insurance, I heard, for all these funeral expenses. So, and so I... I uh, Listed here all the things that they charge for uh, this funeral expense, six thousand dollars, seven thousand. Depends on state again. So, again, briefly, just touching very quickly, the transportation charges is bringing the uh, uh, the uh, deceased person's body from home to funeral or the hospital to the funeral home, and also the they give uh, the vehicle as well, a funeral coach. Uh, for that transportation and also the funeral home facilities, the space itself where the body is going to be buried, that is uh, the charge for it and the casket or the coffin and so on, all those expenses and they do everything for us, opening a grave, closing a grave, the burial vault is something that they, it's addition to a, a, a coffin that they, uh, it's a second uh, outer external uh, enclosure where they put the body over the coffin and then grave marker and headstone and document fee and they take care of that grave after that it's all those expenses six thousand dollars and then we come to this point where we are ready to wash the deceased this is going to take some time there are a lot of issues that we need to be aware of how to do the washing what to do what not to do who can do who cannot do what to remember what are the exceptions and so on so first thing for the kifaya washing the dead body is for the kifaya meaning a commun communal uh, obligation meaning that some people in the society in the community should know how to wash if you are living in a community where nobody knows how to wash, even the sisters don't know how to wash, brothers don't know, and they don't have anybody to help them out, and they just do it whatever they want to do, that is going to be a sin on everybody, you, me, you, everybody. Everybody is responsible for it. That's what uh, uh, Farda Kifaya means. If nobody does it, everybody gets the sin. And we will be accountable in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's why we need to know the basics at least, what we should do, and how to go about this stuff. Sometimes it might happen, we, our, our jobs might take us to a place, a remote society, not many Muslims. If we 
don't live in a community that is strong, that uh, you, know, you have to be prepared for such situations. And another important thing is that many people think that oh, washing the disease is, is, is a good thing. You'll get, uh, you know, you're helping out people. You'll get rewards for it. That is true, but it is something more than that. This is a special thing. It is an act of worship. Just like we pray, it is, it's an act of worship. Basically meaning just that intention of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fulfilling His commands, that will get, get us rewards for that. And you're fulfilling Allah's commands and you'll get reward for it. And the, there are many hadith about it. The rewards basically say that a person who does this good act, he will, his sins, 40 major sins will be forgiven. And on top of that, on the day of judgment, when all everybody's sins will be, you know, told publicly, you did this sin, this sin, this sin. These kind of people who help out in uh, washing the disease, their sins will be covered. Allah will cover their sins. And there are all those rulings. Alhamdulillah, we have a lot of hadith. How to go about washing it? How many times to wash? How to start? What all? Uh, supplies we should have it's all there uh, when prophet muhammad sallallahu sallam's daughter sayyidati uh, zainab radiallahu anha she died she mentioned in this long hadith we'll go over it but she he mentioned what are the steps that people need to take and uh, when prophet uh, adam alayhi salam died uh, who washed him who washed him it was the angels who washed him and they washed his body an odd number of times and they said this will be a guidance from Adam to his descendants so that there from there we learned this uh, important ruling that it should be washed odd number of times we'll go into it more detailly but uh, in this country we usually you know sometimes get place where we end up washing dead bodies along with kuffar, the non-Muslim people. The scholars say that if it is possible to wash our Muslim brothers in a place which is only for Muslims, that is better. But if you if you can't find it, then you know you, you can wash it even where uh, the non-Muslims are washed. But it's preferable that we have our own place, and we should work from.